time I've tried to call you. Priest Thomas speaking. I was able to finally get the information you asked for, and the truth is... The truth is, I'm worried about your family. Generally speaking, demons try to complete simple rituals to break the bondage of their souls. To carry out this ritual, you must rid yourself of an object with important sentimental value to you. Offer it as a sacrifice. There were practitioners of witchcraft who became haunted as a result of their thievery and dishonesty. They used to steal jewelry from ancient dynasties as to avoid performing the sacrifice directly for themselves with their own sentimental objects. They bought the sacrifice with the emotions of others. But this perverse being is trying to go beyond even that. We are speaking of an ancient ritual of which very little is known. Seven sacrifices, seven mutilations. Seven I believe we are facing a, a, a body exchange type of ritual. Madison Hale was trying to complete such a ritual before she was murdered, and now she is forcing your child to finish it for her. She is trying to steal your son's body. body Call me ritual? as soon as you get this message. Is that what she's after? Chains? Maybe I can break them with something. I think there's something else under that plank. Please.
She doesn't show the photos. Somehow, the photos of her... They burn. she mentioned in her diary. God. My, my eyes. My eyes burn. God. God. I, I need to get out of this fucking house. Where did these come from? A body exchange ritual? I need to put an end to this.
This is from Grandma's diary. Must be something useful here. I must stress to you how dangerous these demons really are. I've witnessed a few exorcisms in my time. Not everyone lived to tell the tale. These beings are not alive, and that makes them stronger than us. They entertain themselves with us. They enjoy our fear, causing us pain. They feed off of it. It gives them power, gives them strength. When one of them becomes attached to one of us, it's all but impossible to stop. <laughs> they play with our bodies and minds. Does this mean that until they find what they were that looking that woman for? Is attached to They're the no camera? longer human. Attached they to are me? Beyond everything we know. John, <laughs> I implore She's you. She's no longer human. Seek help. <laughs> I'll investigate that woman you told me about. Um, Madison Hale, and I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Keep all of this information away from your son. Get rid of that camera as soon as you get this message, but please, please do be careful. If your child has already had contact with this entity, his life, yours, and your family's are Mom. in jeopardy. Chanel, what have I done? I need to find a way to end this. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, it burns. Uh, my body burns. Uh. 
Horror horns? I think I've seen something like this in the house. No, no, not, not again. No, fuck. I, I can't feel my fingers. What is happening to my body? Uh, I, I don't know what this could mean. There was a red light, but everything was dark. The doorbell. I, I gotta get to the front door. She's playing with my mind. There is no fucking escape. It is still unclear whether the photos were part of the rites she was carrying out, or if she simply took the photos to immortalize the events. His body was found in pieces inside the well, along with three other corpses. So far, his left leg and three fingers have not been her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. His body was found in pieces inside the wall along with the other corpses. So far, his left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. So far, his left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. His body was found in pieces inside the well Sounds like something So far, his left leg and three fingers have not been found.
37-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. Maybe I can break the wall with something. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a on this one.
God. My body. My hands. This is what the priest was talking about. That thing is... That thing is feeding off of me. What the fuck does this even mean? The house is full of clocks. Grandpa used to work in here. How many times do I have to tell you there's nobody in this house? Al? I'm done with your bullshit. Albert, listen to me. It's just a book. A fucking book, Elizabeth. See? There's no one here. It doesn't exist. I... It's not real, goddammit. I know. Everything that's happening to me has something to do with it. I just know it. It's a disease, Elizabeth. You are sick for the Lord's sake. I'm not sick. You'll end up losing your mind if you don't cut the crap. That book has nothing to do with your illness. I wish you stopped acting as a child. Stop hiding our stuff and take your goddamn pill. Jeez! Do you think it's normal? Do you think pupils vanish like dust? I'm telling you that that, that fucking thing is what's causing Enough, this for me. Enough, Elizabeth. Stop acting like a ten-year-old and go to bed. Albert. Everything started the day we brought that fucking book to this house. It's a disease, Elizabeth. If you don't sick. believe me, I will leave this place. I'm done. And I'm taking Johnny with me. We are not staying hey, hey, here. Hey, wait a minute. This is... This is much. You're paranoid, Ellie. It's 4 a.m., Go back to bed before we wake up Johnny. Come on. We can talk about this. You're gonna regret this. You'll end up all alone. Just you on your stupid fucking clock!